I want to bring in Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, a member of the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, which oversees the CIA and NSA. Congressman, thanks for being here. You bet. What did you know about this decision about timing, and did it surprise you? Well, it doesn't surprise me that the administration has come to the conclusion fairly rapidly that they have to act. Uh, the president did draw a line uh, in the sand, and that line has been crossed and now crossed repeatedly and crossed to an even greater extent. So the administration really has to act, I think, certainly with what Secretary Kerry said yesterday. The administration has made the decision to act. Uh, and once you made that decision, I think uh, delay is really not in your favor. Uh, they do need to get a, a few things done. They need to make sure that they have rallied the support of the international community. Uh, they need to have consultations with Congress. I would love to see us call back in the session, although I think that's unlikely. Uh, if the president limits the action to targeting uh, those uh, instrumentalities used to deliver chemical weapons and it's a limited, uh, of a limited duration, he had consultations with Congress. If he has in mind is something broader than that, well, then we must have a vote. But I don't think the administration is planning something more than that. You may have read Gene Robinson's column today saying that Assad must be punished. He writes, it will be difficult to design a missile strike that hurts Assad without drawing the United States into the war. But that is the thin line, isn't it, here for the president that he has to walk. And when you look at the goal of this operation, people will be asking, Americans across the country, saying, what is that uh, objective? And up to what limit do we get to before putting troops on the ground? To avoid well, it is that. A diff you're right, Richard. It's a difficult line to draw, and as much as we like to think that the uh, crew's missile strikes are very precise, uh, nothing in warfare is all that precise, and we have to expect that uh, we will hit the military targets. There may be civilian casualties as well, uh, and you can never rule out the potential loss of American life, even if we don't fly over Syrian airspace. Uh, these kind of exercises pose dangers for all involved. Uh, but I think that we can draw the line in the right place. We can make this punishing. We can direct it to how they have carried out these attacks by degrading their missile capability, their air capability. It will be punishing. I think it will have an impact. It will be a deterrent. Uh, but we need to make sure that we define the mission carefully, that we don't get drawn, in, drawn on into this civil war. When you look at the diplomatic cover that is needed that the United States ne needs to pull together to move forward, what is your thought when you look at NATO, when you look at the Arab League, as well as other allies around the country, around the world, excuse me? Well, I think we'll certainly have the support of many of the allies in the region and a lot of our NATO partners. Uh, getting the Arab League behind this, as indeed they should, uh, is still going to be a, a big ask, and we'll see whether they can get that done in a timely way. Would you support this if we go it alone? Important. Uh, I don't think we will go it alone, and I th don't think we should go it alone. This has to be an international effort for many reasons, uh, not the least of which is if this is going to be truly the international stigma uh, of using chemical weapons, if this is going to be an international statement that this is intolerable, it can't be just the United States acting alone. Uh, so this has to be done in concert with others, and I'm confident and it will be done in concert with others. Okay, thank you so much, Congressman Adam Schiff. I appreciate